Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, Wicked Family, we are going to talk about the multi-game card for the N64. And for the people thinking, hey, but did you already did a review? Yes, I did. But I must say, I was not really satisfied about it. Seeing those videos and realizing that I used a converter. And yes, they booted up, but they came with a lot of problems. So in this video, we're going to do a quick testing and we're going to check out what are we going to get with these multi-game cards on a real Japanese system or a region free so we can play the games without a converter. Alright, so both cartridges. This one comes in this very nice glittery red, glitter red color. I like, really like it. And again, you need an expansion pack like a previous game I've reviewed. We're going to grab my original system and I'm guessing this thing has an expansion pack. There are some games on it, for example, the old Mario and the new Mario, so pretty awesome. This is the Mario Party Pack. I really love this transparent casing. You can even see this thing has an EO shield and like original games, a lot of NES games. And if you look at it, no, they didn't use the same NES games. But all right, let's check out the system itself. All right, so basically it looks the same, but it's not a region. It got the expansion pack that we're going to need for the red version. We're going to connect it to a television and uh, let's play some Mario. Alright, so I booted up the system and it works without any hassle. So this is great. Uh, we can finally play these games like it should be. And yeah, hoping they are not freezing. Alright, let's try SM64 Sapphire. I'm still very curious, does this thing save the files? Do we get this freaking annoying menu of this intro? No! Let's go! Let's go! You can see that this device or the N64 is really struggling with this. What is he doing? <laughs> Come on! It's so fast that I can barely move. Yeah, yeah, uh, what? What is he doing? What the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell? Is Can I press this thing? <laughs> All unique stages in this game. Wow, it runs really choppy. Alright, next one. Super Mario 64 missing the star. Mario. Right, let's see what they change with this one. Hello. The save function doesn't work, by the way. I think it's more like a mini game. The previous one has the mirrors that you need to, or the painting that you need to jump into, like the original game, but this one doesn't have it. Not at all. How the hell do I get up there? No. Can I jump? Yes, I can. All right. The last one, Super Mario 64, Doki Doki. I would even change the title screen, that is pretty cool. So the last time I played this game, it totally phrased. So let's see if it runs now. Okay, let's go.
Okay, this works. Cool. Oh, N64 is really struggling with this. It's got a very poor frame rate. Okay, can I please change the camera? Thank you. Let's go up. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Come. Oh, this is really bad. To do the right to mimic. Yeah, getting to it, getting to it. All right, I am up. Oh. <laughs> Hang in there. Shut up, idiot kid. <laughs> This is so horrible. This is so bad. What happens when we choose the other one? Um, it just glitched out like... Alright, so nevertheless. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's glitching. Alright, let's play one NES game. How does it work? How does it run? Do you need to play with the joystick? I can use the D-pad and the joystick, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Let's play go. Not a really big glitches or any big problems. Cool. All right, so the NES part works just fine. Come, 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 come. All right, so let's try the multi-game card of the Mario Party games. Curious, what are we going to get? Mario Party games. So, okay, let's boot some up. Let's see if they are working. All right, so I am guessing there will be no problem at all now. Simply because I'm just not using the converter anymore. All right. Let's try Mario Party number two. I can't remember what the converter, this one didn't even boot up. Or, or yeah, didn't boot up. But nevertheless, it does boot up now. All right, Mario Party number three. Let's see if this works. Yeah, let's go. Okay, boot it up. Don't talk to me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, by the way, uh, it seems to be that it's saved. It's magical, people. It's saved actually game because with the other version, the homebrew card, it doesn't save any game. All right, let's play an NES game on this cartridge. Mm -hmm. I can't remember this game. Just going to play with the joystick. Play very nice, by the way. Do we have a turbo button? No, there's no turbo button with this. Right, so the NES is working very nice. But what I don't get is that they have this multi-game card. Okay, that you're putting any NES games on it. First of all, I don't really understand why you want to do this, but just make an NES multi-game card for the and 64 why not just do that and stick it with the n64 games and make this homebrew card of multi-game card with n64 games on it i think a lot of you will agree i don't see the point again it's fun it works fine but I don't see the point playing 8-bit games or having n64 and 8-bit games on one cartridge it's fun but it's totally pointless because i think a lot of people who want to buy the multi-game cards will or just interested in the N64 games. Okay. All right, people. So for the final conclusion, if it comes to these multi-game cards, I already mentioned a couple of times, um, I don't see the point of putting N64 and NES games on the same cartridge. Just make an, let's say, an NES collection only N64 because I think some of you will enjoy it. 
It's pretty cool if you have this multi-game card NES on the N64. And just leave it with the N or just use N64 games on one card, even if you have, let's say, six or seven games on one cartridge. But okay, I think it does filling up this big list. I think it's more like try to sell this cartridge with, let's say, 26 games. Um, yeah, the Mario Kart, uh, it's really cool, the red one. It's very nice that you have these homebrew games. Uh, Doki Doki is basically unplayable. Um, let's see, the first one, Subfire, was on turbo mode. And overall it's fun, but I can't enjoy these games, to be honest. I just want to have the original game. And the Mario Kart, yeah, it's cool. Um, it seems to me that it's, what I've noticed with Mario Party 3, that it's too safe, so that is pretty cool. So this is what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. We'd love to know. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell. And if you like gameplay, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.